Time to fill another dance go out. Let's get started. This is Gina R and I'm back with my Mercury Dime album and I've picked up four tubes of Mercury Dimes and I got 60 slots that I'm going to try to fill in this album. So let me get started and I'll be back when I find something. Okay I'm back with my first find and it is a 1945 yes. Sleeve. And there we go. 59 to go. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm actually back with an upgrade. Look at this one. Wow, it is a beauty. A 1942. No mint mark. So this will definitely upgrade the one I have in the album. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh, this. There we go. Let me remove the back one. It's not so easy to do. Well, hold on. I'm going to pause while I get that back sleeve off. Okay, after having some trouble removing that back uh, slip, I said sleeve, but actually it's like a slip, a slide uh, covering from the back, I was able to remove the other dime and put this one in there. Look at that. That looks really, really nice. Okay, let me continue going through the mercury dimes and see if I find anything else. Okay, I'm back with another find. A 1943 no mint mark so let me put that into the album let me pause while I do that there we go okay 58 more slots to go okay I'm back with another upgrade this 1944 will upgrade the one that's in the album. It's a lot nicer looking compared to the one that's here. So let me go ahead and replace that one. I'll be back with the next fine. Okay, I'm back with another upgrade. This one is a 1939. That is really nice condition. Wow. And it's a demon mark. So I'll go ahead and upgrade that one. So I'll be back with my next find. Next find a 1940 no mint mark. So let me go ahead and place that into the slot. we go okay so I'll be back with the next find okay I'm back with another find in that tube and I did find the 1935 no mint mark so that's another slot filled let me continue going through the mercury dimes okay I found another slot filler and it is a 1937 no mint mark. Cool. Okay, I found the slot filler. It's a 1941S. And while it is really nice, uh, it does have the scratch. So. Other than that, wow, that would have been really nice. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in the slot. 
put it in the slot. Maybe one day I'll find an upgrade to that one. So let me go ahead and continue. Okay, I'm back with another slot filler. And that's a 1940S. So that's pretty cool. So we got another one in the book. Okay, I'm back with another fine, and it's a late 20s, a 1929, no mint mark. So that's going to fill a slot here. There we go. Okay, I have another slot filler here, 1944D. 1944D, here we go. So I'll be filling this slot here. Get this slider over. There we go. And there we go. Another one in the book. Okay, I'm back with a 1941 D. And that's going to fill this slot right here. There we go. Let me continue searching. Okay, I'm back with a 1939. No mint mark. So that's going to fill this slot right here. So let me continue searching. Okay, I'm back with a 1943 S. So let me go ahead and put this one in the book. Awesome. Okay, I'm back with my oldest find yet. 1927, no mint mark. So let me put that one in the book. Okay, I'm back with another slot filler, a 1931, oops, dropped it, 1931, no mint mark. All right. Okay, well, let me continue searching. Okay, I'm back with another slot filler, and it's a dirty, but the 1940D. So that'll fill a slot. Okay, let me continue looking. Okay, I'm back with a 1938S. So let me go ahead and put it in the slot here. Move the slider up a little bit. There we go. All right, let me continue looking. Okay, I found a 1944S San Francisco Mint. So that fills up another slot. So let me go ahead and continue looking. Okay, I found this 1939S Mint Mark. So it's going to fill this slot right here. And that should be it for that section. Of course, there'll be upgrades I need to look for because some of these are not in the best condition. So that is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and continue looking. Okay, I'm back with a 1944 S mint mark. And I do have that empty slot, so I'm going to go ahead and fill it. And I have now found all the ones for the 1940s. Of course, I'm going to be looking for upgrades, but that's pretty cool. So let me continue my search. Okay, I'm back with now the oldest dime in those two, but 1920. No mint mark. And it's in pretty rough shape. So let me go ahead and put it in its slot. Here we 
go. Okay. Let me continue looking. Okay, I'm back with a 1930 no mint mark. So that goes down here. Here we go. And let me fill that slot. Okay. Let me continue. Okay, I'm back with a very old 1928 D mint mark. And unfortunately, there's no bands at all. This is pretty worn down. So let me see. What was it? 1928 D. Here we go. Got to make sure I put it in the right slot. Okay, let me continue. Okay, I'm back with a 1938 no mint mark. So I'm really loving this because I'm filling quite a few slots. But that was easy to do with as many dimes as I was missing. So let me continue looking at the rest of them and see if I find anything else. Okay, I'm back with a 1937. And it's a D mint mark, Denver mint mark. So we have another one in the books. Here's a 1929 S mint mark. 1929 S at San Francisco. And yep, I need it. So let me go ahead and put it in that slot. Here's one that's been around for almost 100 years, 98 years, and it's a 1923 no mint mark. So let me see over here, 1, 22, 23. So let me go ahead and put it in its section, I'll pull out the slider. Here we go. Another slot filled. Okay, I'm back with a 1936 D mint mark. Let's see here, 36 D. Sweet. Okay, I'm back with this ugly 1928 Wing Liberty, and it is a San Francisco Mint. So again, that was a 1928 San Francisco Mint. Um, here we go. 1928 and let me put that in the book I will definitely be looking for an upgrade for this one okay I'm back with a 1924 whoops hit the camera there 1924 Denver mint mark so that'll fill slot okay so I'll be back with my next find okay I'm back with 1935 s cool so let me go ahead and continue looking okay I'm back with a 1934 no mint mark Fills this slot. And that completes page two. Now I will need to upgrade a lot of these, but I'm done with the second page. Awesome. So let me continue searching the rest of the roll. Okay, I'm back with the oldest. 
time in the Mercury series, or I should say Winghead series. And this is a 1916, no mint mark. It is very, very worn. This is a 105-year-old coin here. Wow. So that will definitely fill a slot. It's pretty worn, but I'll take it. So let me continue. Okay, I'm back with a 1928 no mint mark. So let me put that into the book. Here we go. A 1928 no mint mark. My next find is a 1924 no mint mark. So let me put that into my album. Okay, I'm back with another 1916, and this is a San Francisco Mint. So let me go ahead and add that to the album. Here we go. Cool. Okay, here's another old one, a 1917, no mint mark. Here's a 1926 D, and I do believe I need that one. Here it is, 1926, whoops, D. Okay, got that one in there. So this book is filling up pretty good. Let me continue. Okay, I'm back with another find. It's a 1918. No mint mark. So let me go ahead and add that to the book. Yes, yeah, so that one goes right here. Okay. Continue. Okay, I'm back with another fine. A 1927 S. So that'll go into the album. Fill in another slot. Hmm. There we go. Okay, here's another one for the album. A 1925 no mint mark. So that goes right there. Okay, I have a 1919D here, and this Denver Mint will go right here in this slot. I am going to have to upgrade a lot of these because they are very, very old looking. So let me continue. My next find is a 1927 Denver Mint Mark. And that one was down here. So even though it's dirty and ugly looking, that takes care of that slot. Okay, here's a 1931S. And we'll fill this slot up here. And let me go ahead and continue looking through that tube. Okay, I'm back with a 1920 San Francisco Mint. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Here it is. Really making a lot of progress in this album. So let me continue. Next, I have a 1917 San Francisco. So let me go ahead and put that here. Awesome. Okay, I'm back with another slot filler, and this is a 1930 San Francisco. Oh, 
All right, let me continue. Here's another 1919, and this one has no mint mark. So I believe I don't have that one. No, I don't. Cool. Okay, here's the 1926 San Francisco. And let's go ahead and fill that slot. Here I have a 1931 Denver. And I think I saw I needed that one. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm almost done, so let me continue with what's left. Okay, well, that uh, concludes my search of the tubes. I am happy that I have eight slots left to fill, and they're all in the first page, of course. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay, I'm missing the 1916D, the 1918D, and the 1919S. I am also missing the 1920D, 1921D, and the 1921. Also the 1923S and the 1924S. So those are the eight that I'm missing. I am going to have to upgrade eventually, but pretty cool. I'm almost done with this album. And all of these were found at the antique shop, which is pretty cool. So I know he'll be getting some more in. He usually gets a lot of Mercury Dimes, so I usually try to buy them whenever he gets them in. So now this is fun. I'm getting excited about this album. I'm almost done with it. Wow. So until next time, happy hunting, happy collecting. Bye, everyone.